Great, it was another game on Saturday, another chance to see uh, your new squad in action and well, it's not about results but a good performance against Barrett Thistle, 2-2 two -two draw. Yeah, um, yeah, it was a good performance, played some nice football again and we got some more game time into most of the players so they've all, mostly all of them have played 2.45s if not more so yeah it was a good game for, uh, for everybody to be involved in Saturday the past. You move in to tomorrow night's friendly now against Brecon, your last pre-season friendly, yep. is it now kind of putting those building blocks in place towards competitive football? Yeah, I think uh, tomorrow night we'll, most, of them, most of the team will probably play 60 minutes, maybe 65, 70 minutes and then we'll change it and uh, just to make sure that everybody's fresh for going into the game Saturday but everybody will get a run out tomorrow but um, the majority of them will play uh, 60, 70 minutes. Not spoken to you since the addition of Connor Salmon into the squad. Yeah. Um, did you even just from Tuesday to Saturday notice a, a difference in having him involved in the game and obviously around the place today in training again? Yeah. You know, he trained uh, Friday ahead of the game. He trained fantastic. Um, and to be fair, we threw him in and gave him 45 minutes on Saturday, which he come through quite well. He had a wee bit heavy legged, as you can understand. He hasn't done the same pre-season as most people, so he's a little bit behind. Um, but you know, we've got the whole this whole month to make sure he's fit for the league campaign. But you know, he'll get 60 minutes tomorrow, hopefully, if he if he can manage it. And uh, you know, I've been delighted with him. His his fitness has been really good, considering that he's not done much. And then hopefully, after 60 minutes, that'll just that'll team up nicely for going into the game Saturday. You spoke. I think two weeks ago about you know patience in the forward areas in terms of getting the right people in. Do you, of course, you feel you've got that now in, in Connor and Dale bring him into the club? Yeah, um, I think I said this as well. I tried to sign him last year and we tried to sign him in, in, in January. We actually had a deal done, but it never went through. So we're delighted to get him eventually to come here. Um, I think he'll be a big asset for us uh, this season. Um, you know, he's big, you know, he can hold the ball in. He's got great experience, he's quick. So. He's everything we've been looking for, and as I said, we've been very patient in that area. And I think you have to be, you have to make sure you get the right people um, to come in and, uh, and make sure it's the right people that, that's going to suit the, the rest of the team. So I think he's, he's, he's going to be a really good addition. Another player that Falkirk fans are going to see up front quite a lot over the next few weeks is um, Denny Johnson. Can you tell us a bit more about um, the current situation with Denny and, and what's been happening over the last few weeks with him? Yeah, well, again, Denny's one of these people that I, I, I believe has got huge potential. I tried to sign him at Dundee United. Uh, he went away down to Birmingham. Um, I eventually signed him for Morton where he, he got a bad injury. But I know his potential. But Denny, uh, I, don't, I don't know if anybody knows this, but Denny's been in here since May, end of May, working on rehab. He's been in tirelessly working with the physio right through uh, May into June. Um, apparently, he took one week's holiday. And he's been working so, so hard and it's been great. He's done most of the pre-season, just about all the pre-season now. He got game time on Saturday, played his first 45 minutes. So I think if Denny um, can prove his fitness over the next, uh, you know, up until the end of the month, then there'll be a contract there waiting for him. He's signed a short-term deal at the moment just to get him through this period. But again, if, and, and, I'm, and I'm pretty positive, I'll be a, 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 he will come through this, he'll be a fantastic signing for us. And... Uh, once he gets clear of the injury he had last year, then he, he, he's going to be a fantastic signing for us. So, But delighted to have Denny Johnson in here. Yeah. Um, moving forward this week, after obviously the breaking game on Tuesday, all eyes turned to another quick schedule, but it's the first competitive action that's come around so quickly. How do you feel the squad are fair and shaping up moving in, into that? Yeah, um, again, as I said about being patient, um, we want to get the best players we possibly can. And you know, a lot of players are tied up. A lot of, uh, if we are going to strengthen the squad now, we probably we probably need four four players. I think we probably need a bit of cover at the back. We don't have any cover at the back, so we'll be looking to strengthen that area as well. Um, we've got good cover in midfield. I'm really pleased with that. And I think if we can add maybe one or two up top, um, then we'll be in really good shape. But right this minute, we don't have those those numbers. Um, we are working hard uh, to bring these players in. But again, we're only going to do that. We're going to make sure we get the right quality. We're not going to load the team with people that we we, we don't trust. Um, so we're going to make sure the squad be nice and, and nice and competitive, and we'll take our time with that. But you, there might be one or two signings later in the week that that we probably will have to make anyway going into the game Saturday.